hello everyone hope you're all well i am suffering slightly from really bad skin which is so unusual for me because i'm well saying that i've had it over the past few weeks basically i've got a flare up all over my cheeks and a bit on my forehead but it's so red and raw and dry and it happened overnight i think it's some vitamin c i've been using i asked on instagram it's just an apology really if in case i look a bit different or in case i look a bit blotchy i asked on instagram if anybody knows what it is and a lot of people said it could be retinol which was in the product that i used last night or it can be vitamin c used with the retinol i think it's more likely to be the vitamin c because i used a vitamin c mask a few weeks ago and it flared up a bit then and then i used the vitamin see last night but it's happened before with rose hip i think it was rose hip moisturizer so if anybody knows anything or has anything similar with certain products let me know what it is it basically just looks like i've had a chemical peel and i've got my makeup on it's very shiny and peely so let me know if you have it as well and what it is that causes it and what you maybe do to prevent it or get rid of it when it arrives because i had this quite recently i'd say it was when it was Tim's birthday, so the beginning of August, and it was so sore. It was like burning my face to put makeup on, so it's it's not good, and I don't want it to continue happening. So anyway, that's just a little disclaimer um, as to why I might look a bit different. I don't know if it even shows up on camera, but also just asking for a friend to help. Um, and if anybody has anything similar, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, let's get cracking onto the actual haul, which is a Zara haul. And I'm actually so excited for this. I think this is a case for Zara a lot of the summer seasons. I think they go a bit off. Maybe just off for me, other people might really like it, but I feel like it just really wasn't on the mark as it has been. But now that autumn is here, I feel like they've really upped the game and they've got some amazing pieces out, which I couldn't wait to get. So I've got kind of, not a real time haul, but basically this is all stuff brand new in, which I'm not 100% sure whether I'm keeping everything. And these calls are quite good for me as well when they're like real time because I kind of talk myself into either keeping something or not keeping something. So it's quite good and helpful for me too. But as you can see, let's start with my outfit. So this shirt is obviously Zara. I got this in a size small and I'm so glad I did because sometimes in Zara I'll go for a medium, sometimes I'll go for a small, but this is quite oversized as it is. There's a lot of fabric when it comes out, but it also works really well tucked in. It doesn't look too bulky. So small was perfect for me. It's got these gorgeous sleeves and I feel like these were really in when I first started blogging. So this was probably like two and a half years ago, maybe. And I just think I love them when they did to brought them out a few years ago. I had an H&M one, but I feel like this has absolutely gone the extra mile and the sleeve is it's not even the sleeve, it's more the shoulder. It's extra puffy and frilly. I love this kind of, I'd say it's like a greeny, dark greeny camely shade. I just think it is gorgeous. Such a perfect autumnal color. This is $49.99, so for Zara, a little bit more expensive for a blouse, which is confusing because sometimes I do blouses really cheap and then for like, $25.99 and then sometimes ones like this but I feel like this really is a bit extra and something special so it kind of warrants the price tag. Then I paired it with these trousers so these were $29.99 again a size small they're meant to be kind of a bit slouchy a bit oversized which is really in at the moment and what I'm enjoying doing with these slightly baggier style trousers is really cinching them in at the waist. This belt needs to be a little bit tighter but it's got no holes but I wish I could kind of pull it in a little bit more. This is just from And Other Stories but I like the kind of all tonal look together but I equally think this would look really nice with a brown leather belt or a black leather belt and then black shoes to kind of balance that out. But yeah I love these two together. They're not the exact same colour but I don't care about that. I think all tonal looks really chic and very put together and it's a really easy tip actually to look a bit more polished and pulled together it's wearing an all tonal outfit even if it's something really casual i know this is a little bit dressier but if i had like a t-shirt on in the same color as these and matching trainers or something like that it would instantly look a bit more polished and pulled together so that is a little tip from me um so yeah first outfit i absolutely love this i think both the pieces really wearable especially the trousers you could wear them for every occasion workwear etc 
So next, I have this trench coat. So I'm not 100% sure about this, just because of the belt. So I love the belt on it, don't get me wrong, but I'm just thinking, do I always want the belt on? How does it look without the belt at all? And how would I feel about just wearing it? No belt, because I might feel a little bit open, especially if it's not nice weather, which is what trench coats essentially are for. So they're huge at the moment. There's nothing I don't love about this, apart from just thinking of those little bits of practicality. But I'm gonna weigh it up because I love the shade of it. It's a better shade for me in terms of, a lot of trench coats are very beigey, camely, and warm, but this is a little bit cooler, which um, is better for my kind of skin tone. I got this in a size medium because I do think it's better to size up in a trench coat. The sleeves are gorgeous, that's what really kind of cinches it in and gives it a really modern shape. And also, one of my favorite things about it, not too dissimilar to the sleeve detail here, noticing quite a lot of sleeve detail, is this kind of slightly cap sleeve here, which makes it into such a modern kind of shape. I feel like we've been seeing a lot of trench coats around at the moment, especially in street style, during fashion week, etc. They look, if you get like a modern cut like this, I just think they look so on trend, but also so timeless. And that is just exactly my style. And what I try and aim to achieve, again, I think this outfit would look good over something like this, incorporating the whole tonal look. But also, I mean, there are a myriad of ways to wear a trench coat. I think it's kind of a vital piece in your wardrobe. This one was 89.99, but again, I think the price tag is warranted by the really interesting cut of it, slightly more unusual and a bit more modern. So this I bought slightly on a whim, and I'm not sure whether I'm gonna keep this or not. It's got the little buckle here, which is a nice little detail. It's a pleathery style midi skirt. I bought it on a whim just because I know I like wearing leather trousers a lot, so I thought I might try a leather skirt, and pleated ones are really on trend at the moment. And I think it's going to look good with some um, chunky boots or something like that. Actually, I'm kind of talking myself around to it. I got this in a size small. I've not tried it on yet, but the waist looks quite small. But yeah, I think the reason I'm not sure about it is the fabric. It doesn't feel amazing or that thick, and I'm just worried that any of the creases won't really fall out of it that much. But at the same time, I do think it's quite a versatile skirt and would look nice quite dressed down. That's probably how I'd wear it. With trainers, it would look really nice just with a casual knit. I've seen a lot of chunky knitwear in at the moment, which is amazing because I love chunky knitwear. So I think that would look really good with this skirt. So next is this jumper and I actually have another one of the, these in the collection in a different shade. But I thought, I kind of had my eye on a pink jumper. I think I'm seeing a lot of pinks around at the moment. Could be a little micro trend that we see filtering through. And I bought a pink headband not long ago and I thought a pink knit would look really nice with the headband and then dress it down with some leather trousers. So it's slightly cropped, balloon sleeves. You know, my only concern is that it might be a little bit itchy, but if put a very fine, t-shirt something underneath then they're usually fine i mean they're fine for me anyway 25.99 which i think is such a good price for this because it's quite bulky and substantial with the big chunky sleeves i think h&m brought some like this out last year but they were more i think they were mohair and they were around 50 pounds so this is a more affordable alternative to that kind of style i think pink and like this beige shade look really nice together and it's a way of making pink look more modern as well so next i've got these jeans again the balloon shape these were 29.99 i've got them in a size 8 because I've got some other balloon jeans and they're a 10 and they're slightly big around the waist. So I got these in a size eight just to kind of cinch me in a little bit more. Um, and I wanted to get the darker shade just to try it out. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about these yet, but I think they could work really well. I've got a lot of lighter denim, so I did want to kind of venture into this darker shade. And we're seeing a lot of these kind of slouchy balloon jeans around. They're so comfortable and pretty easy to wear as well. So this I absolutely love, but it's $89.99. So I'm kind of a bit like, oh, on the price, but I do feel like it is a little bit extra. Again, it's got, I don't know if you can really see. Yes, you can on camera. It's got a proper puff sleeve, not puff sleeve, padded sleeve here. You can see it there. 
that juts out which makes it such a modern shape this is an extra small to small but it's still quite oversized so that's how the style is so don't go up a size thinking you want it a bit more loose because it is quite oversized i love the double breasted it's got the belt on as well the reason why i got this is because i wear a lot of things that have a bit of a sleeve detail and especially at the moment with puff sleeves being in it's nice to show them off without having a proper blazer on but also have that extra layer of warmth in this season but i do think this would work really nicely for work to kind of tone it down a bit you can just put a very plain knitwear in a contrasting color underneath or a nice plain crisp white shirt but also i think in the evenings it's, it's going to look really nice and just in the daytime if you've got a nice top on or nice puff sleeve detailed um sweater and just chuck this on over the top with some jeans and loafers maybe and it'll look really chic but at 89.99 is it worth it i'd definitely keep it it was probably 60 but with it being that extra bit i'll have to have a think about it i'll try it on with lots of different things and see if it works and then decide but i i do love the piece itself so a lot of you ask me all the time about workwear and this is such a lovely piece for work and then also to transition into the weekend just with a really casual t-shirt and trainers and leather jacket or something like that just so don't just think smart pencil skirts like this are for the office because you can really dress them down and I think that's a really nice way to wear them. So it's got this buckle detail here which I love and these reds and blues running through so not usual your usual check print and I think that's what makes it a bit more versatile if you do want to wear it out and about at the weekend. Again I got this in a size small but I mean I wouldn't say it's the most versatile with it being checks on this specific colour but a really nice piece to have in your wardrobe for autumn. So next we've got the same as the pink sweater it is a grey version which I think again would look so nice with these trousers really easy to wear 25.99 so it's such a good price but this is probably I mean it's more flexible than the pink one maybe but yeah just really easy to wear and yeah just really easy to incorporate into your wardrobe and you can't go wrong with a chunky um, grey sweater so like the black one, I decided to get a burgundy style of this, so probably won't keep them both. Burgundy I thought was a bit different, but not too out there in terms of colour. I also think it could work really nicely with the pink like that. I love burgundy and pink together. Again, it's that kind of idea of tonal dressing. $29.99 and I think this feels a little bit more substantial than the black one actually. And it's got all the button detail down the front. Um, I do think you could probably wear this with quite a few different colours. It would look nice with this shade. I think you'd be surprised at how much burgundy actually goes with. And again, leather is such an on-trend fabric at the moment. So a nice nod to the trend whilst also being quite versatile. So this cardigan next, again, a puff sleeve, can't go wrong. Buttons down the front, $29.99 this was. And I got this in a size medium. I think because it's quite clingy fabric, I wanted to go up a size. This is just gonna be really easy to wear. Pair it with a gold belt, because it's got the gold detail here. Or just with some of the slouchy jeans, a bit like the dark denim, but I think the lighter denim wash ones will go nicely with that. Sink you know so versatile wear it open wear it closed as a jumper and it's it's a black knit at the end of the day with something a little bit different so very flexible so i've got these trousers i don't know why but i've got these in a size 10 and they're the exact same shape as my light blue ones which i said were a bit too baggy so i don't really know why i got them in a 10 i think it must have been a mistake but i'm going to try them on and see uh, what they're like because with the belt they'll be absolutely fine or I could swap them for a smaller one these were 29.99 as well again such a flexible color I wanted to try and stay away from blacks a little bit and use colors that were perhaps less predictable but also would be still flexible in your wardrobe because I don't think there's any point in showing you loads of really out there pieces that just don't go together in any way so this is a nice tonal autumnal colour which is really easy to incorporate with pretty much everything it would look also really nice with white like a nice white shirt so yeah just really easy to wear and again this slouchy style that i really in at the moment finally for 15.99 we have this cute little shirt 
well, it's more of a t-shirt. I got this in a size medium. What I really liked about this is the collar because I thought it would be really useful to just pop under a knit without feeling bulky underneath and you'll still see that lovely collar detail. But also underneath the white shirt like this. I love white shirts, but sometimes I feel like a bit restricted and a bit bulky in them, you know, like a classic button down shirt with a collar. So I think this was a nice alternative because you still feel quite easy to move, but it's also also got the collar detail which I love it's really versatile so definitely one to just have in your wardrobe for $15.99 as well it's a nice um, piece that you you know could carry through a lot of different outfits finally shoes oh, I got these so these basically very much like the Bottega ones which is why I got them. I've also got the like sandaly type pair, which are white. I took them on holiday with me. These were $25.99, so really affordable. The only thing is, I'm not sure whether the tap's slightly too small. My heel just comes to the back of them, but do I want any bigger? I feel like the seven might be a bit too like fully offy. Um, so I might just end up keeping the sixes, but so comfortable as well, really easy to walk in. And I just think they make every outfit look so modern. Like I just tried them on yesterday and a black jumper on and jeans that I just was wearing around the house and I tried them on and the outfit instantly looked so much more um, high end uh, just from putting these shoes on. So definitely a really worthwhile investment for the price as well. You can't go wrong with the black kitten heels, slip on. They're just so chic and absolutely timely. I hope you've enjoyed my little Zara haul. I've really loved these pieces in the collection. So I'm sure there's gonna be quite a few more Zara hauls or Zara styling on things like that to come in autumn because there are so many pieces in there that I like at the moment. Everything where possible will be linked below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram my handle is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson um, and you'll probably get to see all the bits that I did end up keeping over on there I'll definitely get some imagery of it um yeah thanks for watching guys and I will see you hopefully in my next video oh don't forget to subscribe too because that would mean a lot thank you